Hello everyone, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's continue with chapter 4 that is business service and today's topic from this chapter is banking and this is session 2. Now let us try to understand what is banking. A banking company in India is one which transacts the business of banking. Now let us see the meaning. Banking means accepting for the purpose of lending and investment of deposits of money from the public repayable on demand or otherwise and withdrawable by checks, draft, order or otherwise. So banking what basically do? It accepts deposit means accepting for the purpose of lending. Bank also uh, provide loan to the customers so it also lend money and investment of deposits it also accepts deposit from the customers and from the public public is nothing but customers so and it is repayable on demand you can withdraw the money which you have deposited in the bank as and when you want so that is repayable on demand or otherwise and you can withdraw through check draft order or otherwise so with these you can withdraw money which you have deposited in the bank so this is the meaning of banking now let us see what are the different types of banks there are four types of banks first one is commercial bank commercial banks so what is commercial bank? Commercial banks are institutions which deal with money and they are governed by Banking Regulation Act 1949. So the act which they have passed in 1949 that is Banking Regulation Act. So our act prakara alien rules regulations are other prakara commercial banks. So in commercial bank it accepts deposits from the public for the purpose of lending and for the purpose of investment so it accepts deposits from the public for the purpose of lending bank also lends money to the public so that is the function of commercial banks so commercial banks are of two types first one is public sector banks and second is private sector banks so now let us see what is public sector banks public sector banks are those banks where government has a major stake and these public sector bank their main objective is to provide service to the society and their intention is not to make any profit so it gave more importance to social objective rather than making profit for example sbi that is state bank of india Punjab National Bank, we call it as PNB, that is Punjab National Bank, IOB, Indian Overseas Bank, all these are examples of uh, public sector banks. Now let us see what are private sector banks. Private sector banks are owned, managed and controlled by private promoters. Here there will not be any involvement of the government. It is purely managed by private promoters and they are free to operate as per market forces so there are no certain uh, rules and regulations which are uh, governed by the government as per the market conditions as per the market forces they are free to operate for example hdfc bank icici bank kotak mahindra bank jammu and kashmir bank all these are examples of private sector banks now next type is cooperative banks what are cooperative banks cooperative banks are governed under the provision of state cooperative societies act so uh, act prakara adrali in rules regulations either so other prakara cooperative banks so the basic uh, objective of uh, cooperative banks is to provide cheap loan to the uh, needy people and it provides a cheap credit to the 
members of the cooperative banks. It is an important source of rural credit. So mainly it provides finance to the agricultural sector. So it is engaged in agricultural financing in India. So, Raitragagir Bodhu, so agricultural sector, ge loan provide madadu, so Kadme Badili loan kododu, so Adela no cooperative banks madate. Third one is specialized banks. Specialized banks are foreign exchange banks, industrial banks, development banks, import export banks. So, it usually uh, cater uh, the specific needs of these unique activities so specialized bank what it basically do is it provide a loan or money for the purpose of uh, export or import that is foreign trade or and it also provide a uh, money or it also lend a loan to uh, industries and also to very risky projects so these are the functions which are performed by specialized banks next is Central Bank. So, what is Central Bank? Central Bank, it supervises, it controls and regulates all the activities of commercial banks of the country. So, commercial banks, yeah, yeah, the country, as an ill and supervise Mardu, and the illano correct tagi Martha, either I want the check Mardo Dagli, Atwa control Mardo Dagli, Atwa regulate Mardo Dagli, Adiella Kelsa, central bank Marate. So, what is central bank? Uh, uh, the central bank of our country is RBI. We call it as Reserve Bank of India. So, Reserve Bank of India is the central bank of our country. So, it regulates, it controls, it supervises the activities of commercial banks in our country. And it also controls and coordinate currency and credit policies of a country. So, that is the function which is performed by central bank. So, these are the different types of banks, commercial banks, cooperative banks, specialized banks and central bank. Now, let us see what are the functions which are performed by commercial banks. First one is acceptance of deposits. Acceptance of deposits. See, deposits are the basis of loan operations. Banks uh, are both borrowers and lenders of money. Bank is borrowing or So, as borrower, bank also pay interest. If you deposit money in a bank, you get interest. And in the same way, if you take loan, you have to pay interest to the bank. So, in what form these deposits are taken? There are three accounts. One is savings account, savings account, second is current account, third one is fixed account. So now let us see what is savings account. So savings account, it encourages saving of people, that is by individuals. So banks usually uh, pay interest uh, as per the uh, rules uh, which are governed by the RBI. So, RBI is to interest could be ko e account ali deposit maadhre and the head to ash to interest to banks of pay maadhre. And to withdraw money from uh, savings bank account, you will have certain restrictions. So, per day is to withdraw al maadhre ko is to amount vargo withdraw al uh, withdraw maadhre ko on the restrictions rathe. Next is current account. Current account is opened by business people or a businessman and here there are uh, no restrictions for the withdrawal of money he can withdraw as and when he want and there are no restrictions and he can withdraw to the extent of balance anytime without any prior notice so without giving any notice uh, balance this is usually uh, which is helpful to businessmen because he will have to uh, go under so many uh, transactions per day businessmen ge per day sikha pate transactions rata hai. goods na purchase maartta irtare sale maartta irtare so dinano uh, transactions idde irutte so duddin transaction irutte so adukosra current account a uh, businessman open maadutu so next is fixed account 
if you deposit in a fixed account you will get high rate of interest and you cannot withdraw uh, the money which you have deposited in a fixed account a premature withdrawal is uh, permissible with a percentage of interest being forfeited ivaga period ishtu period ge 5 years varagu nu nee dudduna fixed account alli ittirthira andre 5 varsha aadmele along with interest you can withdraw ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ನೀವು ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ನ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆ ದುಡ್ಡನ್ನ ನೀವು ವಿತ್ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೋದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬೈ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಅ ಲೋನ್ ಟು ದ Uh, borrowers out of the money which they have received through deposits or yenu deposits receive madirtare adrindane bere avarge loan inna athwa advances na kodtare so that is lending of funds and these uh, advances or lending of funds it can be in any form like a uh, cash credit cash credit means it is a facility to withdraw money from your current account without having credit balance but limited to the extent of borrowing limit which is fixed by commercial bank so commercial bank is to borrowing limit irutte alli varigu nu frequent aagi duddana draw maarkon hogta irabodu that is in case of current account so that is cash credit or uh, advances may be in the form of term loan term loan means the money or loan which you have taken you have to repay in a uh, uh, installment form or uh, you can repay in a uh, regular uh, payment over a uh, fixed set of time or uh, another uh, form of advances may be in the form of a uh, consumer credit the so consumer credit means it is the personal debt which is taken by the consumer on the purchase of goods or services that we call it as consumer credit and this commercial bank it also lend a loan or advances to business trade industry to conduct various business activities so this is the second function which is performed by commercial bank next is check facility you know what is check check is in the form of a leaf where you can withdraw money from the bank by filling the instructions which are there on the check say check are the most inexpensive and convenient method to withdraw money and here there are two types of checks one is bearer check and another one is cross check bearer check means which are uh, incashable immediately at the bank counters so elli bank alli neevu bearer check na kodtira allene neevu ee check kotre allene neevu cash maarkon bodbodu immediate agi adru naavu bearer check anta karithivi next is cross check so cross check means which charge to be deposited only in the pays account who is a pay pays a person to whom money is paid or to whom uh, the check is made available or now pay in the karithivi so pay cross check alli a uh, ಚೆಕ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಯಾವ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಅಲ್ಲೇನೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೇಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಮಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ರೆಮಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮನಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ on account of interconnectivity of the branches one the bank kandre bere bere tara branches irutte so ella bank nu no connect agirutte branches ella nu connect agirutte so you can transfer your funds from one bank to another bank so you can transfer the funds through uh, bank draft or pay order or mail transfer etc so this is remittance of funds next is allied service allied services see bank not only it lend loan or it de- accept deposits it also provides various service to its customers like bill payments locker facilities underwriting services and they also perform various services like buying and selling of shares and debentures and other personal services like payment of insurance premium collection of dividend etc bank usually uh, provides these kinds of services it also buys and sells uh, shares and debentures on the instruction of the particular customers and if we have insurance cut ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯಂ ಕಟ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಇವಾಗ ಆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಗ
ಈ ಡೇಟ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟು ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಸೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಲಿ ನೀವು ಶೇರ್ಸ್ನ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಏನಾದರೂ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಿವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ದರೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬೈ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ uh if an internet is connected to a particular system you can do banking transactions you can do all kinds of banking transactions with the help of internet we also call it as internet banking so a bank will have a particular website and if you enter into a particular website you can uh, avail various services which are provided by the bank and here there is no uh, human operator nobody will uh, respond to you everything is computerized and the bank will have a centralized database so all the uh, data which is which are related to the bank it will be centralized it will be in one place and everything will be controlled from that particular uh, database and uh, the services which are provided by the bank that will be uh, displayed in the uh, website of the particular bank and uh, you can uh, select uh, any services if you want to check your balance or if you want to make any payment to somebody or if you want to transfer your uh, uh, money from one account to another account all these you can do with the help of uh, internet banking and there are various range of services which are offered by electronic banking like atm automated teller machine so it is a place where you can withdraw money and point of sale we also call it as pos or payment is a point in time when a financial uh, transaction uh, takes place through pos system that is point of sale at the place of sale see if you buy a uh, two uh, goods at checkout counter the staff would scan a product and uh, he would produce the receipt to you that is point of sale and next is electronic data interchange and you have electronic fund transfer electronic fund transfer can be done in two ways one is through neft neft means national electronic fund transfer so we call it as neft so this is the nation wide payment system where funds can be transferred from one account to another account but you know how it works in a batch time slots funds will not be transferred immediately so batch wise ali duddu hogutte and it takes time it can take 2 hours to receive money so yaar first maadirtare avurdu amale next amale next yaar maadirtare avurdu so adu batch wise ali hogutte so immediately transfer agala it takes around 2 hours time to receive money so th- this is national electronic fund transfer and second one is rtgs rtgs means real time gross settlement real time gross settlement here with the help of rtgs this is quite uh, expensive and uh, here uh, funds will be transferred immediately it is in real time and the transaction will be completed within a minutes so nev yavaga yav moment alli nevu one account ginda innond account ge dud hakirtira immediately within a few minutes duddu account ge hogirutte so that is we call it as real time gross settlement so these are the various services which are offered by e bank now let us see what are the benefits of e banking first one is, is it facilitates digital payment e banking it facilitates digital payments here payments are uh, made through a digital form it will be in a digital form here there is no physical form of cash is involved and it uh, promotes a financial uh, transparency so there is here there is nothing to hide here everything is transparent next is it provides uh, 24 hours 365 days a year service so every day every time 365 days a year 24 hours you can avail the services of bank here bank provides services 24 hours 365 days in a year and third one is you can access or you can do banking 
e-banking from office or from your house or while traveling or with the help of your mobile phone here customers are permitted to transact from anywhere and next is financial discipline here it inculcates a sense of financial discipline here each and every transaction is recorded neevu e banking maadbekara nimde eno funds one account inda inond account hogirutte athwa bere yararu nimge duddana kalisuttare every transaction is recorded that we call it as financial discipline and next is unlimited access there are no restrictions related to uh, avail the services of banking and here uh, the risk is also uh, less and there is a greater security to the customer because there is no need to carry cash in the wallet of a customer especially while traveling so these are the various benefits of e banking now let us see what are the advantages of e banking to bank so bank ge yav rithi advantages ide athwa benefits ide e banking inda first one is competitive advantage competitive advantage means here there are certain factors which allows the bank to give service better than its competitors and so that it can generate more profit margin so that we call it as competitive advantage and next is unlimited network to the bank a uh, network en irutte internet facility irbodu a network en irutte so that is not limited to only few branches kelu branch ke matra internet facility kodadagli athu network available irli aa tara enu iradilla so it is unlimited network so unlimited network irte so enu restrictions iralla so any pc uh, can be uh, connected to a modem through a landline which has internet connection and it can uh, provide a cash withdrawal to a customer and load on branches can be reduced ivaga onde branch mele thumba banking systems irutte andre so thumba problem agutte single branch cannot handle uh, too many things so e banking bandiradrinda branches the load en irutte adna ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಸಮ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ